TikTokers are probably the cringiest social media influencers to ever exist, and they embarrass themselves pretty often. That's why today on IO, we're gonna be breaking down the top five TikTokers that embarrass themselves. I'm Mackenzie, and make sure to subscribe if you're new here. And at number five, Bryce Hall. Bryce Hall is essentially the villain of TikTok, and because he's known for being the party hard bad boy, a lot of people don't like him. But oftentimes, it's his own fault, and he comes off as incredibly cocky. However, there are a few moments where Bryce has been humbled, and they are just amazing to watch. The most recent incident of Bryce getting humbled was at the TikToker vs YouTuber boxing event. Bryce was on the main card fighting Austin McBroom. And before the fight, Bryce was deemed the underdog. However, Bryce tried to prove everyone wrong in a video that he posted the day before the fight. In the short video, he explains that Austin was trying to get him to fight for months, and after Austin did something shady behind the scenes, Bryce accepted. I really want to know what he did that was shady. He then goes on to make a gross joke about how he gets a lot of girls, then says he's an experienced fighter. Apparently, Bryce says he's been in 40 street fights, and and claims to have won all of them. Bryce then said that the fight is gonna end in three rounds and it will end with Bryce on top of Austin. And that foreshadowing was interesting because the fight did end in three rounds. However, Bryce was not the winner and Austin knocked him out in the third round. This fight was like a car wreck. Terrible, but you just can't look away. Bryce got completely dominated in the fight and ended up eating his words against Austin. Bryce was hit in the face so many times, it was truly difficult to keep count. And then contrasting that to how cocky that he was in the press conferences was just like night and day. And at the end of the fight, Bryce tried to act humble to make up for the loss, saying that he never claimed to be a fighter and it was all just for fun. But I mean, didn't seem that way before the fight, Bryce. Him saying I'm his biggest fan is like me saying I don't give both very, very false statements. I've been in over 40 street fights, undefeated by the way, which is kind of why my fights end up like this. In at number four, Zoe Laverne. This video is easily one of my favorite videos on the entire internet. We get really little context of the situation here, but the video is so hilarious, context is almost not needed. So to give you some background on Zoe Laverne, she was the hottest thing on TikTok at one point in time. Some could even consider her the face of TikTok before Charlene Addison came along. But at one point, Charlie started making videos and the rest is basically history. And Charlie quickly took over the following that Zoe had. That led to this now iconic video of Zoe Laverne crying while sitting against a wall because she was so sad and mad about not being number one anymore. In the video, she is crying, saying that Charlie is about to pass her in followers and everyone is reminding her of it. Adding, quote, I just want to prove to this B that I am better than her because I am Zoe effing Laverne and I am literally the star of TikTok. And TikTok is putting me down and lifting her up and I'm about to go to TikTok headquarters and strangle their necks. So clearly, she doesn't take well to competition. Because of all this tension, the girls are in an ongoing feud. There were even voice memos leaked that show Zoe trashing Charlie even more. And obviously, a video like that going viral is incredibly embarrassing. Like, how out of touch you have to be that thinking having tens of millions of followers is just not enough. Like, it sucks being number two, but I mean, it's better than having nobody at all. But Zoe's career quickly spiraled downward even faster after she was exposed for kissing a 15 year old fan. Like, she's so close to passing everybody's reminding me that she's gonna pass me and I just want to prove this bitch that I am better than her because I am so f***ing Laverne and I am literally the star of TikTok. And at number three, Addison Ray. This is yet another one of my all-time favorite videos of TikTokers. This one's of Addison Ray, who decided to take over an entire valet stand because she felt like the lighting was perfect to make a TikTok. Clearly a very entitled decision, like a valet stand actually, you know, holds a purpose to people in society. You can't just take it over whenever you feel like it. Addison started filming while her mom, the valet attendant, and a crowd of fans were standing by watching. Then the Hollywood fix rolled up right in time to see it all take place, and when she notices that she's being filmed by the paparazzi, she gets understandably flustered. And the whole thing was just very cringy, honestly. She tries to continue on with the TikTok for a bit. When she realizes that she just can't anymore, she decides to start talking to the paparazzi while taking selfies with the crowd of adoring fans. And I'm not even gonna lie, I actually really like Addison, like probably one of my favorite TikTok stars, but I mean, I got extreme secondhand embarrassment from the video. And at number two, Dixie D'Amelio. You guys already know we had to talk about that painfully awkward dinner that the D'Amelios had with James Charles, where both Dixie and Charlie are being spoiled brats at dinner. Even worse, the sisters knew they were filming for their YouTube channel and still thought that what they were doing was acceptable behavior. It literally wasn't funny or entertaining, just 
really embarrassing. In the beginning of the video, the family introduces the private chef that was going to be cooking the entire dinner for them. They also introduce James as a special guest. And the dinner already starts off awkwardly when the parents and James are trying to have a civilized conversation, but Dixie and Charlie act like they don't even want to be there. Then when the paella dish was served, Dixie picked up something from the dish that looked like she was trying not to barf. Everyone that told her that it was a snail. And then she proceeded to actually throw up on the side of the table where people were eating. Dixie's excuse to this was that food grosses her out and she gags really easily. The family and James continued eating because to quote Heidi, Dixie was being overdramatic, which I mean she obviously was. Things got even worse when Charlie later asked for dino nuggets right in front of the chef. The whole dinner was basically children being annoying at an adult dinner where they probably shouldn't have been at. Even though Dixie and Charlie were supposed to be the stars, it would have been way better without them there. Just do it. Oh, Dixie, wait. No, you're good. It sometimes happens when. And finally, at number one, James Charles. James Charles is not technically a TikToker, but he did a lot of damage on that app, so I think it's right to include him in here. I think we all know by now that James ended up admitting to DMing and Snapchatting multiple minds in this past year. This apology came after countless accusers came forward with their stories on TikTok, sharing the messages and inappropriate pictures that James would send to them. Ethan Klein and Trisha Paytas also had a hand in the drama and frequently spoke about James on the Frenemies podcast. After James admitted to the disgusting actions, it was not only deeply disturbing, but incredibly embarrassing for James, especially because James's career was almost ripped away from him during the Bi Sister scandal for basically the exact same actions. In the Bi Sister scandal, James was accused of using his power on the internet to trick straight people into thinking that they were gay. However, James was able to contradict these allegations, and after sharing his story, he was welcomed back to the internet. But everything changed for James when these new accusations came to light, with proof to back them up. In his apology video, James spoke openly about his dating life, and admitted that he did these actions because he was desperate for a boyfriend and would overlook red flags when talking to people. James considered age to be one of these red flags. When discussing in his video why he would risk his entire career for some flirting, James flat out said, quote, that it sucks and it's embarrassing to admit, but I'm desperate. The entire video was just beyond embarrassing and uncomfortable to watch, but thankfully it doesn't seem like a lot of his fans will be accepting the apology. Hello everyone, James Charles here, and today I'm gonna to be making a very important video about a very important topic. So that's all for the video, guys. Let me know your thoughts below. I know this was a bit of a crazy list. Before I go, I'm gonna shout out some comments from Johnny's video on IKEA spying. Jason said, the perfect song for the story, I always feel like somebody's watching me. Oh my God, I, I uh, watched his video and in the beginning he does that, and literally it's been stuck in my head. I can't even sing or hum it, because I swear to God, I will get copyright striked, but yes, it's, we could've played that in the intro, we would've. Then Blue Reeves said, great, not only do I have to worry about the government watching me, now I have to worry about my work essentially stalking me. Just wonderful. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if that happens more than we think, which is really, really scary. Then someone else said, can you imagine suspecting your employee is a criminal because there's no way they can afford nice things on the low wages you pay? The audacity. It's it's really, it's really just so sickening when you hear that part of it. Oh, they had really nice things and there's no way they make that much to afford that. So something shady must have been going on. It's just a, a terrible world we live in. That's really all I have to say about that. All right, guys, that's all for the video today. Thanks so much for sticking around if you made it all the way here. If you like the video and want to see more, make sure to like and sub to the channel below. I've been your host, Mackenzie Smith. Make sure to check us out on social media, and I'll catch you all in the next one. 